Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Michael and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm a do. Moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? <clears throat> yeah, you're looking great. Is it chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. 
Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine, we're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. That but sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. That's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. Requesting backup for a 
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Cops, it is real! I repeat! I hope it was worth it!
I'm here for you! Put the weapon down! Move it! Take him out! Put down half your outfit back in town. Ah, he's after. We got him. of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. He is not getting through here. Where are you? Humans, but I know you're reptile. Wait, wait, hear me out! <laughs> no more talking! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! 
Pipe down! Insurance details. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those crazy killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake and give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Screw you! Take the money! Let me down! Go meditate, you phony prick! You can't do this to me! Find a happy place, you dead fuck! Won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. Why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Here we are, Slick. With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? 
I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Oh, it's a setup, it's a setup. Talking about it even if they weren't paying me. 
Let me just add a few sticks of butter.